Hello there. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite books and that book is Carlos Castaneda's The Teachings of Don Juan, a Yaqui or Yaqui way of knowledge. Truly incredible book. Uh, there's actually a series of these books. This is the first in the series and they're all just as good if not better than this one. Gotta thank my friend Gary for introducing me to these books so thank you Gary. Seriously, I couldn't appreciate it more. I've gained so much valuable insight and wisdom from reading these books, so thank you again, seriously. Um, yeah, but it's basically about an anthropologist, Carlos Castaneda, who becomes an apprentice for a Yaqui or Yaqui Indian sorcerer from Sonora, Mexico, whose name is Don Juan Matis. And Don Juan uh, takes Carlos Castaneda in, and is basically trying to teach him how to become a man of knowledge which is a very long, arduous task, but a very insightful, inspiring uh, task. A very, very interesting task. And Don Juan goes into depth in the book about, you know, what exactly a man of knowledge is and the significance of being one and how to become one. You know, the man of knowledge has four natural enemies and um, he has allies and, yes, there is the use of sorcery <laughs> uh, and psychedelic plants such as uh, mescaline, uh, and the peyote cactus, and uh, Datura stramonium, which is the Latin name for jimson weed, and some others as well, but those are just a few that they use. These are all tools and uh, practices to become a man of knowledge. I have to say, at least in my interpretation, a man of knowledge seems similar, not identical, but has some similarities to becoming uh, enlightened in Buddhism or uh, achieving true salvation in Christianity. Uh, like I said, though, not identical, just some underlying similarities. Um, but don't let the sorcery and the psychedelic plants and the, the strangeness of it turn you off. Because, yeah, it may seem a little strange to us, but honestly, let's think about it. My beliefs, your beliefs, are going to seem strange to somebody that doesn't believe the same thing. So, really, nothing's strange because everything's strange therefore nothing's strange <laughs> you know we just have to have an open mind and realize that everybody has a different way of approaching life we can't help our preference for the way we approach life we can't help um, our inherent way that we live our life we can't help the acquired way that we approach our life it's just what happens and nobody's right and nobody's wrong everybody is just perceiving life a little differently so you just got to keep that open mind when going into this book. Like I said, don't let the sorcery turn you off. Like, oh, I'm not in the sorcery. I can't read this book. And, uh, or like, oh, it's against my religion. I can't. There's, I just can't read it. No, it's, it's not about that. You don't have to be in the sorcery to like this book. It's really about the wisdom and the journey of the book. Carlos Castaneda does a wonderful job at, at uh, conveying his... Uh, his time with Don Juan, seriously incredible writer. He makes you feel like you're becoming the man of knowledge and he makes you feel like you know Don Juan and that you could vividly picture Don Juan. He makes you feel like you're on these psychedelic plants. It's really, really awesome. It's truly an art form, the way he writes. Um, there is some controversy or debate about this book, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. I mean, I think it's a little bit of both, but it honestly doesn't matter. It's it's about the the messages underlying it and the, uh, just the, the wisdom and the insight inside of it. So yeah, it's just super incredible. Um, Don Juan is just an awesome guy. Seriously, I wish I could hang out with him, but unfortunately, um, he's not alive anymore. But yeah, he's just a very, very wise man, and he just has some great one-liners and paragraphs where I'm just like, man, that's so true. Like, I love that. It's totally applicable to the situation in my life or just totally applicable to, to life in general, to approaching life. Um, so I actually want to read a paragraph out of the book just to give you a little taste of um, Don Juan's teaching style and uh, his wisdom. So this is Don Juan talking to Carlos Castaneda. Don Juan says, Therefore you must always keep in mind that a path is only a path. If you feel you should not follow it, you must not stay with it under any conditions. To have such clarity, you must lead a disciplined life. Only then will you know that any path is only a path, and there is no affront to oneself or to others in dropping it if that is what your heart tells you to do. But your decision to keep on that path or to leave it must be free of fear or ambition, 
I warn you, look at every path closely and deliberately. Try it as many times as you think necessary. Then ask yourself, and yourself alone, one question. This question is one that only a very old man asks. My benefactor told me about it once when I was young, and my blood was too vigorous for me to understand it. Now I do understand it. I will tell you what it is. Does this path have heart? All paths are the same. They lead nowhere. They are paths going through the bush or into the bush. In my own life, I could say I traversed long, long paths, but I am not anywhere. My benefactor's question has meaning now. Does this path have heart? If it does, the path is good. If it doesn't, it is of no use. Both paths lead nowhere, but one has heart, the other doesn't. One makes for a joyful journey. As long as you follow it, you are one with it. The other will make you curse your life. One makes you strong, and the other weakens you. So as you can see, very wise man, really, really great words. Um, there's a lot of uh, detailed explanations of, like, uh, the sorcery techniques and the preparation of these psychedelic mixtures. So be patient through that. It still is interesting if you like learning about, you know, different cultures or just different approaches to life. And, uh, but there's definitely some valuable wisdom in this book. So if this sounds interesting to you at all, if you like books on wisdom or, like I said, learning about different cultures, then definitely check it out. Keep that open mind, please. The open mind is essential. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, really, really enjoyed this book, so please check it out if it sounds good to you, and if you have read it, let me know what you think about it, tell me what you like about it, what you didn't like about it, um, and check it out, really, I highly suggest it. All right, well, I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you whenever with whatever random thing I'll be talking about next. All right, take care.